Hello to you, all jewelry maker guys. Hope you're ready to make a very beautiful wire jewelry. Today we are going to make a very beautiful chainmail bracelet, and we are going to learn about how to make these little motifs and also how to connect them and the joint, of course, at the last of this tutorial. All we need to make this very beautiful and practical chain mail are our three main tools round nose pliers, chain nose pliers and wire cutter and of course if you prepare these main tools you could make a lot of wire jewelries for yourself to sell as a gift for the one that you like and of course wire that we are going to use 0.8 millimeter in diameter and I'm using brass with a golden look but you could also use copper that has a rose gold appearance or a steel one with a silver look or of course after you have learned this tutorial Perfectly, you could use gold or silver. They are even easier. As we do always, to start, we need to determine the pattern and the map that we are going to make with wire. In all kind of chain mails, we need to determine the little pieces that are going to be attached and sit next to each other just like this one and the pattern the little pattern is that and repeat it to make a whole chain mail and of course the joint and the clasp that had connected start and ending point to make this bracelet we need two kind of little patterns one that is like this and of course a heart shaped motif this one is just like these patterns and the heart shape here has a spice this simple chain mail that you could that you could use it as a set to the other wire jewelries that we had the tutorial in previous videos just like this beautiful earring or even as the ring that we had the tutorial in here so we start by picking up wire point eight wire and also our round nose pliers to make the first pattern we need first to make a very little loop and at the end we keep it tight and make a 90 degree bend to have a complete eye pin and a circle. At about 2 or 3 millimeters we make another bend and with the bigger part of our round nose pliers, we would make another circle and eye pin. That would be something like this. And here, with our chain nose pliers, we keep it tight and wrap the wire and roll it all around this is straight line that had connected these two eye pins if necessary you could use your tool to fix it better so that it would wrap totally and completely all around the straight line. After repeating wrapping wire all around, 
about two or three times. Just cut this wire out. And push the extra on this work so that there wouldn't be any sharp edges left. Now we have one of these parts and the first part is ready and we need about seven or eight of them. It depends on the length of the bracelet that you are making these parts for. For mine about eight of them is needed and now we need to add the second shape that is a heart shaped one. Again with the wire and around those pliers we are going to make this pattern. With the round nose pliers make a little loop like this, a P-shaped one and about two millimeters above make a bend and again in front of that P-shape make another one this is just as the patterns that we had for this earring or the ring that we had the tutorial in previous videos. At the end, we would cut the wire out at the end of this P shape. We would check it out. If the loop is opened just like this, we would push it with chain nose pliers so that it would be flattened. Then we continue making these hard shapes and we are going to put them at the middle of these joints that we made first. And it depends on the length that you desire. But for me, I need at least three couple of these hearts. So I need six of them and we are going to connect them. After we made all of these coupled parts, we are going to attach them together. Every one of these clasps, kind of clasps they are, has a closed part at this loop and an open part. So, at the open part, we make the loop just like we open a jump ring and insert the other loop that is a closed one and then close this one and we make sure that there is not any spaces left so we check it out with our chain nose pliers and push it a little so these two parts are attached and we are going to attach these two parts. So we need another joint here and we use our jump ring. If you don't know how to make a jump ring, just go to this tutorial and learn how and make one of them. Insert it here and then heart shape and then close it and again check it out till we get to something like this all these three parts are attached together and now we are going to add another heart shape that is just in front of the other one and we need two other jump rings that are a little smaller than the first one. We open it up. Insert 
the first heart shape and then attach it to the other one and close it. And we would have something like this and we continue making the other joints and we are going to attach one of these parts and of course a jump ring at the middle. After making the length that you desire, that is a combination of these two small and simple parts, this is the time to add the clasp to open and close this chain mail. So, we are going to make a clasp just like this and the pattern and the overall map is just like this part that we made but here we have a bigger loop that is like a teardrop a loop at the end so we are going to make one of them so easy but this time we start by this little loop here so we make one with our round nose pliers and we push it a little and we would make a teardrop shaped there and at this part we make a 90 degree bend with chain nose pliers we keep it tight and push the teardrop and after about three millimeters we make another bend and another loop at the end and now we are going to wrap the wire all around this straight part now this would be it and you could do some hammerings at this part so that it would be a little flattened like this these two parts could be hammered or we could remain it as it is and we are going to attach it from the part that is open or if it's the closed part we should add a jump ring simply so we add it up and then close it back and this would be the way that it's closed chainmail bracelet hope you had enjoyed this very easy but tricky chainmail bracelet and thanks for watching this video Hope you the best. Take care and bye-bye.